So here's another calorimetry problem, but this time it's a coffee cup calorimeter. So the only thing that's going to be different here is our very first calorimeter calculation. So in a coffee cup, we're going to be having a liquid calorimeter. So we need to determine what is the fuel. That's going to be this one. This is the fuel. So we need to leave that alone. That is only going to be on the right side. So the solution in the coffee cup here is HCl. So this is going to be our calorimeter. So here we're going to be needing mass of the calorimeter, specific heat, and delta T in a coffee cup. All right, now mass, but we have milliliters. Wait a minute, milliliters, that's not good. Does it give us a density? Yes. So 50 milliliters is going to be the same as 50 grams. Specific heat here, 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. You're going to be doing something similar to this in the lab. Delta T, 23, oh goodness, 23.7 minus 22.5. 1.2. Okay, so let's multiply all this out. Times 4.18, 4.18 times 50. So 250.8 joules. Now, Look here, it wants to know delta H in kilojoules. So let's go ahead and make the conversion to kilojoules. So 0 0.2508 kilojoules. Now, we know heat of the reaction. The calorimeter is gaining heat, so the reaction is losing heat. That's just keeping track of our negative sign. Now we can deal with the fuel. So here we have zinc, 0 0.103 grams of zinc. We'll need our periodic table. Molar mass of zinc, 65.38. Okay, 65.38 grams of zinc is one mole of zinc. So 0 0.00158 moles. Okay, this time it says we're going to call it delta H. Plug this in, negative 0 0.2508 kilojoules per 0 0.00158 moles. I'm going to take some of the rounding out of this and just say divided by my previous answer so I don't have to type it in as much. So that's going to be negative 159.2 kilojoules per mole. So that's not nearly as exothermic as burning things was, but it's still there.